There were rows of teeth marks on the windowsill, perfect little half-moons of anxiety. All afternoon Mungo knelt before the bay window and watched the street for her, his teeth sinking into the soft wood, the metallic taste of lead emulsion coating his tongue. The small flat was marked with his distracted grinding, the corners of towels were chewed and sodden, the hem of his school shirt was bald and stuffed into his mouth until he choked. The handle of the wooden spatula had a hammered pattern where he had clenched it between his molars. After the trouble with the polis, Mungo spent a lot of time at the window. For days afterwards, he avoided Hamish as best he could, travelling in great wide arcs to stay far from his line of sight. It did no good. Mungo came home from school one day and Hamish was sitting alone in the kitchenette. There were layers of clean clothes hanging from the laundry pulley above his head. Jodie had been busy keeping the house going, stripping beds, bleaching whites. Now Hamish sat beneath it, smoking. He spoiled everything. Hello! Mungo surprised himself with how casually it came out. There was a disappointment in seeing his brother, but also a sick sort of relief. His school bag slid from his shoulder. You've been avoiding us, said Hamish with a knowing laugh. There was fresh ink on his knuckles. Hamish liked to give himself tattoos using an old sewing needle and a burst biro. Curving across the knuckles of one fist was Adri, and on the other, Anna, Adriana, the indigo name of his little pink daughter. Funny that, I should be the one embarrassed to run into you.